So, Derek, I'm assuming that you're not taking last December's performance against the Jaguars for granted uh, as you prepare for Sunday. Yeah, not really thinking about that anymore. We didn't play them, and they uh, they won last game, so I mean that should be out the window by now. I don't worry about that anymore. No, another opponent game we got to win. So, no. How much does patience come into play for you as a, as a runner? Say it again. How much does patience come into play? Like, what role does that play for you as a runner? I mean, you got to have patience as a running back. You let your blocks set up, let the play develop, and what you see a hole, just hit it. Is that kind of like a requirement for the wide zone? Um. Not really. It's all different plays, you know. You know, depending on how they happen, depending on what you need to read and how the blocks are set up. But not, not, not every play. What would you say makes you such a, a great fit for that scheme, the wide zone? I mean, I don't know. I don't really. I don't mean. I just have to go out there and do my job. I don't really get into you know what makes me great or anything like that. I let the people who watch me and you know analyze my game, you know, make those saying what they want to say about it, but I just got to do my job. Obviously, you've done some good things already. Do you feel like it turns into running back season now in that the, the weather starts to turn and in that you kind of took this team on your shoulders at this stretch last year in similar circumstances? Just doing my job. That's, that's, I mean, that's the only thing I can say. Just wanted to do my job. I get paid to run the ball and go out there make plays. Just do my job. What's it like when you get in a good rhythm and – you guys go back in the huddle. Is there a lot of chatter, or, a lot, or is it all just business-like? You just want them to keep feeding you the ball. What's it? What's it like as you're picking up chunks of yardage and gotten into a good groove on a drive? Just taking one play at a time. Um, focus on focus on the play that's called. You know, just um, keep keep my momentum going, keep moving downfield, and getting in the end zone. Your home run plays. I think they put out a Titans had a list today. Six, six huge plays over the last two years, more than anybody in the league, more than the best receivers, Tyree Hill and stuff. What's it like when when you're realizing that you're breaking those open? Do you ever see yourself on a jumbotron, see what's going on behind you, or as as you realize that this is going to be another one of those? What's that feeling? Uh, well, my eyes get big if you haven't seen any pictures, but. No, nah, um, you know, this is credit to those guys up front and everybody blocking. And um, I'm just making my reads, doing the job best I can. And when it's open field, just trying to get six points. So. If you had to pick, Derek, anything you've changed as a runner over the years, ever since you've been here, what do you think might be one or two in terms of whether it's style or, or anything along those lines? No, I just run this be me. I never really change. Just be me. Continue to improve on, you know, everything I need to get better at. Same. Same runner? Same yeah, runner. same, same. Ain't nothing changed by me. Derek, I got in late. Uh, I don't know if you were asked about the sign or not back at your hometown. Mm -hmm. just, just your thoughts on what they did to kind of honor you there. Oh, yeah. Um, that was a great moment for me and my family, you know, my hometown, and for them to recognize me and um, put a sign up for me. You know, that's just something I'll never forget and, you know, I cherish forever, you know, um, that don't happen too often. So I was very grateful and thankful for them doing that for me. Did you see that coming? Did you, did you know that that was going to happen? Yeah, uh, they, talked, they talked about it in previous years, but never really got it worked out. And it finally, it finally happened. You know, my coach, Pat, uh, who uh, passed this past year, you know, really was pushing for it and finally got it done. So I was happy for it. Coming from where you came from, you know, Alabama, Heisman Trophy now in the NFL. I mean, you come a long way. What does it mean for you to represent your hometown the way you have? Yeah, like I told them when I uh, talked to them um, during the ceremony, I told them I put uh, Yuli Floyd on my, on my heart, and, you know, and um, I carry them everywhere I go, and I'm going to continue to do that as I'm playing.